Hey, what's going on everybody? This video we are going to be talking about how to average a bunch of numbers in an array. And on top of that, we're going to be talking about how to fill an array using user input. So we're basically going to create a loop that just keeps on going forever until we tell it to stop. Each iteration through that loop, it's going to add an element to this array. So it's just a little bit more practice with arrays if you still need a little bit of, you know, sharpening them array skills. But you know what? The best way to sharpen your skills Dev Mountain. Dev Mountain is a boot camp that's going to get you where you need to go in your career. So if you are tired of wasting your time in tutorial purgatory or just tired of just studying for years and trying to figure out how to get this coding thing down, go check out Dev Mountain because they're going to give you what you need to succeed in the industry. It's a very vigorous but very valuable boot camp that's going to teach you web development using JavaScript. So you'll come out knowing JavaScript, React, Node.js, and a bunch of other tools such as Git, testing, quality assurance, and how to take all these pieces, integrate them together, and build real-world applications. Very, very cool, and lots and lots of positive reviews. Check them out, link in the description, let them know I sent you, and they'll give you $250 off. All right, so let's go into this, and let's first do the average. So how do we do an average? Well, we add up all the numbers, and then we divide by however many there are. So the one issue with this that I'm just going to deal with up front is that there can be gaps and we don't want that to skew our result. So what we're going to do is inside of the for loop to, to loop through the array, we are going to check to see if the value is undefined. So let's just clean this out and get what we absolutely need. <laughs> so we're going to have an if statement inside of here like so. All right, so nice and clean. That was just some code from the previous video. So we have a grades array defined and you can you can console log grades if you need to see how that looks. Basically, there's a big gap where we have a bunch of undefines because we set the length and then we used an index that doesn't yet exist. So there's about 24 or so indexes that are not being used by legitimate values. So when we iterate through this entire array, we need to check if it's a legit value by saying, grades of i is not equal to undefined. If this is true, then it's a legit value. So we want to know how many elements are in the array, but we can't use the length because length counts the gaps. So we're actually just going to create a new variable. We're just going to call this, I don't know, count. And we're going to set that equal to zero. And every time there's a legitimate value, what we're going to do is we're going to do count plus plus. So that's going to count how many things we need to divide by. <laughs> so once we add them all up, we can divide by count to get the average. So now for adding them all up, let's create another variable and we're just going to call this total. Set that equal to zero. And each iteration through the array, we're going to do total plus equals grades of i. And that'll add the value of whatever index we're at to this total. And then later we'll just take total and divide it by count. Down here, we can console log the output. Let's actually store it in another variable. So we'll just say let average be total divided by count. That should give us the correct thing. And then we just console log the average. You could just put total divided by count inside of the console log, totally up to you. Refresh, and we get 24 point something, something, something. So let's just add this up to make sure it's legit. When we add them all up, we have to remember this 40. <laughs> I was adding it up and I could not get the right answer. That's because I was only looking at this list up here. So what we get is a total of 317. And then we have to divide that by a total of 13 to give us 24.38. So it looks like it did calculate it correctly. So awesome, we're not complete failures, <laughs> just partial failures. So that is the algorithm for calculating the average. You could definitely extract that into your own function and take some arguments and return a value. I'd encourage you to try that if it's something you seem interested in, especially if you wanna get some more practice with functions. The next thing I wanted to talk about is how to fill an array from user input. I decided to save that information for the next video. So the next video, we're gonna be able to go into that a little bit more detail, spend a little bit more time on it because we're gonna be creating a new type of loop. Still a while loop, but it's an indefinite loop and you're going to learn some new words like send or value and a bunch of cool stuff like that. So check it out guys. If you've enjoyed this content, please let me know and be sure to subscribe. It really helps out this channel and means a lot. Thanks guys. I'll see you in the next one.